On the program today, we bring you the existing laws and regulations governing passengers' rights. We have the views of the Director of Consumer Protection at the Nigerian Civil Aviation, NCAA, Adamu Abdullahi, and a legal practitioner, Ajibola Dali of GRF Dali and Partners. They spoke on the rights of passengers and the airline's obligations and the applicable laws regulating the Nigeria aviation industry, respectively. Also today, Section of Business Law of the Nigeria Bar Association X-ray the Petroleum Industry Bill and the Lifespan of Reforms in Nigeria. Hello and welcome to the program. I'm Millicent Walker. The Section of Business Law of the Nigerian Bar Association met in Lagos to discuss reforms of the long-awaited Petroleum Industry Governance Bill, PIGB, and its importance to the Nigerian economy. Take a look. With a sense to the Petroleum Industry Governance Bill, PIGB, by President Mohamed Dubuari still pending, stakeholders in the country's oil and gas industry believe its passage will present opportunities for the nation's economy. They spoke at the round table of the Section on Business Law of the Nigerian Bar Association in Lagos. One of the panelists, Austin Olorunshala, gave a background into the petroleum industry in Nigeria and how rapid legislation has aided the development of other countries in the sector. Buyers are becoming sellers. So up to 2008, when we were doing the first time we started this PIB, uh, America was still soaking so much oil from us, buying and buying, you know. It's no longer the same. So the trading routes have, trading relationships have all changed completely. You know, importers have now become exporters themselves. So a, a lot of dynamics, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's completely changed uh, within the energy space. And so we can't sit down doing the same thing we're doing 10, 20, 30 years ago because things are changing rapidly and every day. But what is broken? Other speakers highlighted reasons the petroleum industry and governance bill should be assented to and the factor oil and gas industry plays in the economic recovery and growth plan, the ERGP. We have policy supervision, regulation being done by the same people. Uh, you have the Department of uh, Petroleum Resources, DPR, which essentially is the regulatory arm, is being supervised by the ministry and also the uh, minister is also the chairman of NNPC, which is the commercial entity. Uh, NNPC also in a number of areas, they, they operate monopoly, uh, especially in terms of the ga uh, gas pipelines, and they also issue regulations as well. So we felt that it is important to separate that. So we need to have clear rules, clear rules for policy and supervision, uh, regulation and commercial activities. So that is what we're trying to achieve. That's part of what this bill seeks to achieve. The benefit is that we can grow reserves. The word is that our reserves are declining and the cost of not passing it. So what I'm doing here is what I call the cost and the benefit. So the benefit of passing the Petroleum Industry Administration Bill is that we buy, uh, we, we have a statutory framework to grow our reserves. The cost of it is that we're where we are, where that is left entirely to the discretion of the political player actors who have all kinds of drivers themselves. And for the, my, for the life of me, I would have thought that it was expedient, even from a political point of view, to hold a, a bid round. As the committee set up to look into the drafting errors and other issues report to Mr. President, Key players expect the benefits of transparency and accountability in the sector. The point also is that the sector has been on the decline because of this cloud that's been over the sector. So it's imperative that that cloud be removed and very, very quickly. We have spent too much time on this and we need to get things going. I think it's a, a shame that we didn't get that done because that really would have been the catalyst to ensure that the other three uh, parts of the petroleum uh, industry bill were actually passed. So we hope that you know it's still going to be done uh, within this administration, 
uh, the few issues that have been complained about. Hopefully they will be addressed as well as uh, the other aspects of uh, the PIB and getting all of them passed.